or like less than. So this video, all about family relationships, we've got three like kind of large lists of vocab and then some examples from each list. So immediate family, your nuclear family, who you know, your closest family, la familia, el padre, la madre, los padres, el hijo, la hija, el hermano, la hermana, el esposo, la esposa. Okay, two things. You can repeat after me at your computer, right? Talk to yourself. <laughs> Los padres, anytime you have co-ed group, right? So masculine and feminine together, we are going to use the masculine form. So los padres would be parents. You're talking about mom and dad together. In mi familia, tengo dos hermanos y una hermana. In my family, I have two brothers and one sister. Hermanos sometimes is, is brothers and sometimes it's siblings. Okay, it just depends the context. Mi mamá tiene una hermana. My mom has one sister. Mi papá es el único hijo de diez hijos. Boom, that's kind of trippy at first, right? My dad is the only son of ten sons? Of ten children. Because here, if you have, like, of ten children, he's the only boy out of ten. So he's one boy, nine girls. It's co-ed group. Hijos could be sons or children. Hermanos could be brothers or it could be siblings, depending on context. ¿Cuántos hijos quieres tener tú? How many children do you want to have? La esposa de mi hermano es loca. The, my brother's wife. The wife of my brother, right? So we don't have apostrophes in Spanish. We don't use, so we say, my brother's wife, la esposa de mi hermano, es loca, is crazy. The wife of my brother is crazy. Okay, extended family. So aunts, uncles, grandparents. El tío, la tía. So if you're talking about my aunt and uncle together, you could say, mis tíos, like my aunts and uncles, or aunt and uncle, together. El sobrino, la sobrina, el primo, la prima, el abuelo, la abuela, el nieto, la nieta, el padrino, la madrina. Right? And so this, this is more common in Latin America or, or maybe within the Catholic Church, uh, godfathers and godmothers. Sometimes they're blood, sometimes they are not blood. Mis primos son super divertidos. My cousins are really fun. Primos is plural. My cousins. So, mis son, they are, instead of mis primos es. Mis primos son super divertidos. They are really fun. Everything's plural because subject's plural. Vamos a visitar a mis abuelos en las montañas mañana. We are going to visit. Vamos a visitar. Grammar structure. Ear plus a plus infinitive. We're going to visit. My grandparents in the mountains tomorrow. All right, so this is a advanced grammar, but a mis abuelos, whenever the direct object is a person, uh, you know, we're going to visit, who are you going to visit? You have to put a in front of it. Right? It's a, you know, a personal. It's, we'll get to it in Spanish too. Mi abuela tiene 22 nietos. My grandma has 22 grandkids. Mis tíos viven en California, cerca de la playa. My aunt and uncle, and there you go, tíos. Remember I was telling you, if you have a, mi tío y tía, mi, mis tíos. So sometimes the translation of tíos is, is you, more clear in English than in Spanish. My aunt and uncle live in California, close to the beach. Okay. And then now, instead of like extended family, specifically let's talk about family by marriage. So your in-laws. Or... Your step parents, your stepdad, step sibling. El padrastro, la madrastra, el hijastro, la hijastra, la hermanastra, el hermanastro. Okay, this is the end. Instead of saying step brother, stepfather, we have this astro and astra. That's it. If you have astro or astra, that is going to be step. The equivalent, okay? Family by marriage. My daughter, step. Like, hija is daughter, and then astra is step. So, 
la hijastra. El hijastro. It's pretty cool. Okay, and then let's say if you get married, like you're the, you know, you have your father-in-law or your mother-in-law, your brother-in-law. El suegro, la suegra, el cuñado, cuñado, el cuñado, la cuñada. ¿Qué hace, ¿Qué hace tu suegro para el trabajo? What does your father-in-law do for work? ¿Qué hace tu suegro? What does your father-in-law do? Nuestra madrastra cocina muy bien. Our stepmom cooks really well. Better than my mom, actually. <laughs> uh, mi hermanastro y yo. My stepbrother and I. Who is that? That's we, right? So we play. Jugamos. Mi hermanastro y yo jugamos mucho en el jardín. My stepbrother and I play a lot in the yard. Muchos de mis amigos tienen hermanastros. Lots of my friends have step siblings. Right. Guys, this is a vocab family family vocab list. So, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you need. We'll be glad to help.